One event remains for the men at the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic here on Saturday in Columbus, Ohio, and we are set to crown a champion. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Sean Woodland with Lauren Chalet. Kiki Dixon is the third member of our broadcast team. We will bring her in a second. Mitch Hooper right now sits atop the overall standings, and he has a comfortable lead, but he is not safe. There's no safe in this competition. We've seen it <laughs> far too many times. Some very, very surprising results have happened so far. He's in a great position. He's where he wants to be, but there is still a job to do, and the other athletes can still put pressure on him. Here are your overall standings coming into the fifth and final event. And Mitch Hooper has been extremely consistent throughout four events, 33 and a half points, four and a half points up on Trey Mitchell. But Mateusz Kaliszkowski is within striking distance and he is the world record holder in this next event, the Timber Carry. And for more on this upcoming event, let's send it to Kiki Dixon. Guys, I sat down with Trey Mitchell and asked him what he's done to improve his performance for this year compared to last year. Turns out that he was in a car accident a while ago and he has some nerve damage in his left hand. He said he's been working his grip and try to improve it the best he can, but the progress has been slow. He said a PR is a PR. If he can move it a little bit farther this time, he'll be happy about it. He did mention, hey, there's always the hope that I can take a big whiff of my spelling salts and pull something out of my hat. Trey Mitchell currently sits in second place, and he's going to have to carry that 881-pound frame up the entire 35-foot ramp in order to have a chance to win this thing. And last year, he finished dead last in this event. 881 pounds. You've got to carry it up that ramp as fast as you can. 30-second time limit here. The keys of this event are presented by Beyond the Whiteboard. Laws, what do you got to do to be successful here? This is such a traditional event here at the Arnold Strongman Classic. Been used a number of times now, and it's a brutal event. We do not see many of our male athletes finishing this timber, timber frame. All about leg, back, and gri grip strength. You know, not having the straps on this, it comes down to that grip. And if you can do this in one go, it makes a huge difference because you do not want to try and re-pick that timber carry up on that incline on the ramp. Kevin Ferris, who is known for his grip, has been waiting for this event. He said yesterday when we talked to him, this is bread and butter for him. His best finish was a fifth in the elephant bar deadlift. He lifted 901 pounds in that event. Kevin has one of the best grips on the planet and very, very good when it comes to carrying weights. Now, the question is, how much has the other events taken out of his body? Fresh, he does this no problem. We're in the last event. He's already deadlifted a, a PR, which is going to take it out of him. His body is feeling it. Let's see what he can do. Here goes Kevin Ferris. And he's up, no problem. But straight away, he goes down as soon as he hit that ramp. And he has himself better. sorted, and he looks like he is going to be able to make it here. But once he got that second pick up, he was nice and steady, moved well. But that mistake at the start just could cost him a little. You really have to, do be, to be so precise with where you pick this thing up because of the tilt on it. When an object is that big and that heavy, if it just tilts slightly, it kind of pulls out of your hands. So maybe just a slight mistake, maybe had his hands a little too far back. The frame tilts forwards, and it just opens up that hand a little. Once he adjusted, the grip looks strong. Kevin is upset with himself because of that right there. I don't think he thought he was going to drop this thing. And then after this, he was able to get to the top. So 13.31 seconds for Kevin Ferris. But still, just, just finishing this is impressive. Down to Kiki Dixon. Kevin, you looked a little disappointed in your performance there. What was going on? Uh, my foot caught on right off the start, so I don't know where that, where that happened, but I recovered and finished it off, so. Now, this maybe wasn't your favorite moment, but what was your favorite moment from this weekend? Uh, my 900-pound deadlift, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, was was expecting that uh, leading up to my uh, alt getting into my alternate spot. So, um, yeah. All right, thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. Kevin Ferris in his first ever appearance here at the Arnold Strongman Classic. You can see it himself, he's disappointed with that. But let's remember, only two athletes finished this last year. He's got the full distance, 
This is a hard event, and we're talking about the last event of the contest. 881 pounds, 400 kilos is how much that the timber weighs. And it takes an army of people to get that thing back down the ramp and into position as Luke Stoltman will be the next man up. Ninth place overall coming into this event. He was on the podium last year at the Arnold Strongman Classic. So many good strongmen right now. You can go from contest to contest, and the results chop and change all the time. All often comes down to the events, and then what kind of shape you're in on the day. Third place last year for Luke. This has not been the performance from last year, but he'll want to finish strong. He's a proud man. And a fan favorite. Every time I turn around here between events, he's out taking pictures with the fans, shaking hands, Absolutely. talking to people. Come on, Luke, let's finish strong. Here goes Luke Stoltman. I think he'd be better off coming forward slightly so that the tilt goes back rather than forwards. He did look like he adjusted his that grip, and that looks a lot better, but just can't keep holding on to it. And you often see the athlete's calluses tear up on this. It's such a sharp, heavy bar. Very, very taxing on the grip. Fatigued from four brutal events already as well. And there we go. That will be it for Luke Stoltman, who salutes the fans here, and they appreciate his effort. We'll wait for his official distance. That is a man that's feeling beat up after a heavy contest. Just looked like he had the grip too far back, and this is where you can see him adjust, shakes out his hands, and then moves forward slightly, and that seemed to work a little bit better for him. Yeah, maybe if you got it right from the start, it would have been able to go a little further. Once you drop it and the grip's opening up, it's so hard. You know, you're talking about tendons, small muscle groups, Giving it everything there just to get it that little bit further. Let's go to Kiki Dixon with Luke Solman. Luke, you just wrapped up your weekend. What are your overall sentiments about it? <sighs> I'm getting too old, man. <laughs> um, I mean, these guys are absolutely awesome. Mitchell Hooper, a superstar, man, honest to God. So, um, privileged to be here as always. Um, First competition back for me after a while off. My body held together just. Um, wasn't the best weekend. Got some things to take away. Need to cut up, lose a bit of weight. Come in a little bit leaner for our world's strongest man. But um, yeah, feeling good. I mean, it's trying to take the silver lining. I'm struggling at the moment, but <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. You can see why Luke Stolman is a fan favorite here. He's just such a great character. He's always gracious in defeat. You know, it's not been the performance he would have wanted, but still holding his head up high. And like you said, he'll be out there with the fans, meeting everyone. Done so much for the sport. And now his younger brother, Tom Stoltman, will be up next. And I'll tell you something with Luke as well. He'll be there cheering on Tom right now as well, even though it's not been the... You know, the performance he wants, he still always wants to see his brother do well. Tom Stoltman's best finish so far, fifth place, did it twice in the first two events, the Wheel of Pain and the Austrian Oak. And he is off. Very similar to his brother. He's let that tilt forward. He's holding on well. Tom's grip's definitely improved over the years as well. Now, this is a hard position to be in, especially for such a tall man. To lift that on that ramp 
you're in a weird position. You want to deadlift off a flat surface. And Tom Solman is not going to be able to get to the top. And that will conclude his Strongman Classic. But good enough for second currently. We are through three athletes. Seven remain. And like you mentioned, Laz, the beginning of this looked a lot like the beginning of his brothers. Yeah, you see that implement just tilting forward. It's kind of pulling him forward as well as he walks. So it's hard to maintain that balance. It's hard to keep those hips through and stay locked. And then after that, we've seen from his deadlift is down a little yeah. bit at the moment. He's had a hip issue. And it's going to put a lot of stress on the body. Tom Stoltman with Kiki Dixon. Tom, you just finished up your weekend. What's next for you? Yeah, I mean, rough day at the office, but I'm going to go back and uh, try and just build on this. You know, I mean, a few events didn't go my way, but it is what it is at the end of the day. So that's what happens in Strongman. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Now, Pablo Nakanechny will be the next man up. What a warrior this guy is, still battling hard. And if you were with us earlier during the elephant bar deadlift, he failed to get a successful lift, and it looks like he did something to his right leg in the process, but he is still competing. And if you've got a bad leg, this is not an event you want to be doing. Akineshny chalking up here. Best finish fourth place in the Wheel of Pain to start the competition. And then in the last event, the Steintossen, he also finished fourth on that bad leg. And I'm surprised he fits in that thing. <laughs> He's so wide. Hence his nickname, Wide Pavlo. So let's see how this leg affects him. He's up, no problem. And he's moving well. And Pablo Naganechny. I'll tell you what, this old. Yeah, just felt it. Was off to a great start. And at this point, I think it's probably wise for him to just hobble away. because Yeah, he needs to like walk away and, and fight another day. He doesn't want to make it worse. He's battled hard, all contest. What a warrior, continuing to get out there and compete. To, to, to try and do these events when your body isn't functioning at 100%, it's the worst feeling. You know, it's hard enough when everything feels great, but when every step is excruciatingly painful, put in a valiant effort there, moved well, but it wasn't the grip that gave way, it was the leg. Well, Pablo Nakanetsi can leave with his head held high. Great effort from him despite the injury here on day two. And Pablo Nakanechny is standing by with Kiki Dixon. I know that your body wasn't holding up the way that you were hoping it to. What's going on? Where are you feeling it? Uh, I'm not feeling right legs now. After my trip to this competition, all muscle for my right leg is blocked. Yeah, and uh, uh, will be better next. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Rest up. Thank you. Thank you, too. Pablo Nakanechny, one of the younger competitors here, and you can absolutely see the potential with this kid. Oh, he, he's got a bright future ahead of him. He's got all the tools to be one of the absolute best. Well, Kevin Ferris is still our leader as Rob Kearney makes his way out onto the floor. Ferris has a time of 13.31 seconds. He's the only man to get to the top so far. Rob Kearney, sixth place overall coming into the event with 19 total points. We saw a fantastic deadlift from Rob on the elephant bar deadlift. This, though, is not a strong event for Rob. He's got smaller hands, which just don't help on this type of event. Kearney lifted 961 pounds to take third in that elephant bar deadlift. 
He's got the back power, he's got the leg power. We've seen him excel in squatting, we've seen him excel in deadlifting. If he was allowed to use straps, it would help him a lot. The grip, though, is going to be the issue. But, spoke to him before, and all he wants to do is beat his distance from last year. Hit a PB, that's the target. Can't even get the weight up. And I'll tell you, that, that is not back and leg weakness. That is the grip that's giving out first. If you can't connect to that bar, as soon as he applies that power through the floor, it's the hand that's opening up. And Kearney is going to call it there. But someone that will be happy about that is Trey Mitchell. Because it's an easy point to pick up as long as he can get that weight up. So overall standings after four events as we work our way into the top five. Mitchell Hooper again with that four and a half point lead over Trey Mitchell. Mateusz Kieliskowski sits in third and is the world record holder in this event. And they will be the last men to go. Let's go down to Kiki Dixon with Rob Kearney. Rob, you're one of the most well-known and well-loved strongmen here. What do you love about being a strongman? You know, I think for me, it's uh, it's getting to do something I never thought I could. You know, growing up, I was always told I was too small or could never be strong enough to compete at this level. And to be here year after year, showing up, putting on great performances that I'm super proud of like this weekend, it's just amazing to do in front of these crowds. We love having you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tom Evans will be up next, and he's been a surprise here, a pleasant surprise. He sits in fifth place overall. He's coming off a second place finish in the Stein Toss, and he had a throw of 10 feet, seven inches there. He's got 22.5 points. Still has an outside shot and maybe getting himself onto the podium here. It's been a pleasure watching him, the way he conducts himself backstage, just a super guy and, you know, really deserving. First major pro show and it's the Arnold Strongman Classic. You are up against the absolute pinnacle of the sport and he is doing exceptionally well. Tom is a strength coach at the University of Delaware and trying to represent the Blue Hens well here. Me, again, easy lift, but it's the grip that's giving way. I would just kind of compose myself a little, try and maybe have one big effort rather than just keep attacking it like that. And he's just trying to inch that thing up the ramp now. And that will be the time cap. But Kevin Ferris is still our leader, the first man out. He's the only man so far to get to the top. Uh, we said last year we only had two athletes finish. So far this year, only one has managed to get to that finish line. Evans will step out of the timber. He's got a fist bump from Magnus for Magnuson, and he will work his way back down the ramp. Not a bad start, but that's where the grip started to fail. Yeah, the, the lift was easy. He just, the, the right hand started opening up early, and then he just kept attacking and kept attacking. I think maybe just pacing yourself would have been better, but he's new, he's done well. And Tom Evans is with Kiki Dixon. Tom, maybe this moment wasn't your favorite, but you had some really incredible and exciting moments here this weekend. What are your biggest takeaways? <laughs> I think I belong. So that was the goal this weekend. And I think we got that done. Thank you so much. Congratulations on completing it. Thank you very much. But Tom Evans is going to have a lot to build on as he continues through his career. Great showing for him at his first ever Arnold Strawman Classic. Now that will bring up Bobby Thompson as we are into our top four athletes. Thompson trails Mateusz Kieliskowski by two points for third place. And Thompson's put in a really good performance all weekend. First event wasn't so good, but since then, very, very strong. Amazing deadlift, amazing log pressing, solid on the throw. He's another athlete. He's never finished this type of event before. It's a weaker event for him. He'll be looking to get a PB. Finish the contest doing as well as you can, and that is all you can ask for.
Just making sure the hands are all chalked up. Nice and dry. Get that grip as solid as possible onto that bar. We know the back and leg strength is there. This is another athlete where it all comes down to grip strength. Thompson has won an event, finished first in the elephant bar deadlift. Lifted 986 pounds this morning. The American Nightmare. Let's see if he can get to the top. Easy pickup. Now it's a grip. Seeing it with so many of these athletes, they're strong enough to lift this weight. It's the hands holding onto that bar. But Bobby needs to work hard and just get this as far as he can. Yeah, this is good. Keep working hard, Bobby. You've got 10 seconds. Final seconds here for Bobby Thompson, just trying to get every bit of distance out of this thing as he possibly can, and that is going to be the time cap. Bobby Thompson checking out his hands for a second, trying to catch his breath before he works his way back down the ramp. Looking at his hands. Often, you kind of walk away thinking that they've torn. Sometimes they're just so sore. The knurling on the bars inside the, the timber, very, very sharp. Bobby Thompson will have to see if that is good enough to keep him inside the top four. And did a pretty good job of just inching his way up the ramp there. Just kept working hard all the way through. Bobby Thompson closes out his competition. And he's with Kiki Dixon. Bobby, you were battling that thing back there. What's the biggest challenge with this? It's just the incline. That's all. That's the worst part of it. Nothing more to say. And what's your favorite moment from this weekend? Uh, the, the deadlift event, obviously. Yeah. That paid off pretty well. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. So Bobby Thompson makes his way to the back as we are now down to our final three men. Mateusz Kuliskowski currently sits in third place, the world record holder in this event. Trey Mitchell is on the opposite side of the spectrum there. This is one of his least favorite events. And if you heard Kiki Dixon earlier, he is dealing with a little bit of nerve damage in his left hand. And then Mitch Hooper is your leader by four and a half points over Mitchell, Mateusz Kieliszkowski is up next. He has the world record, and here's how it happened. That was in 2020, and now here he is three years later. First time we've seen him in a competition in almost two years, and he's in position to finish on the podium. Yeah, it's, it's been so good to see Mateus back at this level. Couple of events where you can see that confidence isn't there, but this is one of his favorite events. Always been good when it comes to moving with weights. He will want to finish this contest strong. Trying to beat his world record of seven seconds. The best time we have seen. The only man to finish this is Kevin Ferris. 13 seconds and change. He's getting the grip sorted. He knows this equipment well. That experience helps. 881 pounds, 400 kilos. Mateusz is ready. And he Look is off. Quickly he moves. He's and holding strong. we may Whoa. have a new record. We'll have to wait for the official time, but that is going to be close. I need to see that stopwatch. He's asking for the time. He's not. Oh, happy. he may not have gotten there. <laughs> but he is in the lead here. Unofficially, we're being told that is a record. But we'll wait for the official time. But unofficially, 
It is not. 8.35 is now the official time. So 8.35 seconds from Mateusz Kieliszkowski. I'll tell you what, that's still pretty good. <laughs> and again, we've talked about this throughout the competition. Just to see him back and just to see him get through this competition cleanly has got to be a confidence builder for him right now. Yeah, this is what he needed. He needed a competition back and he needed... Now, now he can build on that for future contests. Let's remember he's still only 29 years old. He's come here. He now potentially could win three events. He's won two already. He's in first place on this one. He is showing he's still a very dangerous athlete and someone that's going to be a contender for any contest. And keeping the pressure on both Trey Mitchell and Mitch Hooper, let's go to Kiki Dixon with Mateusz Kieliszkowski. Mateusz, I know you wanted to beat your previous time. That didn't happen. However, you still set a blistering time. What is it about this event? Why are you able to be so successful? Uh, this is good for me because it's one of my favorites. Uh, when I started Strongman, it was my best, best uh, event from old. So that's why maybe I not practice a lot of, just I have strong grip, need strong legs and just walk. All right, well, we will definitely keep our eyes on those scores as they roll in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Two men remain here. Trey Mitchell is going to be up next. Now, last year, he was barely able to move this timber. We'll see if that has improved this year. This is something we've all been waiting for. How much has he been able to improve that grip from last year? We know he's an incredible deadlifter, an incredible log presser, incredible at so many events. But this has been one of those events that's caused problems for him in the past. He's been working hard on his grip. Now he needs to step up and show what he can do. Trey Mitchell had a great start to his event. Day one, he was your overall leader with 19 out of a possible 20 points. He took second in the Wheel of Pain and then first in the Austrian Oak. What can Trey Mitchell do? How much has the grip improved from last year? Here goes Trey Mitchell, and once again, Doesn't struggling. Good. We know he can lift these kind of weights. We see it on the deadlift. It's a, a comfortable weight for him. It is all about that grip. This is tough to watch. He's such a good athlete. And that will do it for Trey Mitchell. Unfortunately, the event we expected him to, to do poorly on, it's turned out that way. And that means that Bobby Thompson and Mateusz Kurloskowski are still very much alive for a spot on the podium. And I know he's got to be disappointed in that, but overall, he's had a spectacular competition. Trey is one of the absolute best athletes in the world. He's just got that one weakness. And you can just see the disappointment on his face, but Trey Mitchell is with Kiki Dixon. Trey, you came back for another year of the Arnold Strongman Classic. What do you love about this event? I mean, it's one of the biggest competitions in strongman and it's the crowd is always hype it's uh, the biggest one of the biggest crowds in strongman and i love all the testing myself on all the neat equipment that the arnold provides us well thank you so much trey and thanks for having me and now mitch hooper your overall leader has yet to finish lower than third in any event hasn't won an event he led Mateusz Kieliszkowski by six points coming in. If he gets to the top, he's going to win the whole thing. Bobby Thompson's mark is 14 feet 11 inches. If he gets inside of that, that should be good enough for him to hang on to first place overall. Mitch Hooper is very, very fast. We've seen him on Super Yokes where he's unbelievable. We saw it at the Rogue Invitational. So, so quick. 
Let's see how his grip is, because if he can hold on to this, we know he's got the foot speed. And here goes Mitch Hooper. And, and Mitch quick. Hooper is a couple oh, feet away from a championship. Hooper is almost there. Finish it off. He wants to get to the top, and he does. And that will do it. Mitch Hooper is your 2023 Arnold Strawman Classic champion. What an athlete. He did not have a weak event all weekend. He didn't win an event, but he kept racking up the points. And that is our 2023 Arnold Strongman champion. This man is having an unbelievable rookie year. He's good. <laughs> the he first is, champion from Canada as well. He has done in one year what many strongmen try to just accomplish in their careers. What he's done is unbelievable. And he just seems to improve every time we see him. And just fought his way to the top and gets himself the championship. Mitch Hooper. Consistency across five events. He finishes third again. Kevin Ferris with his best finish of the competition takes second. Mateusz Kierlaskowski is going to pick up his third event win of this competition. If he just finds a way to get better at the deadlift, look out. If Kierlaskowski learns to deadlift, everyone is in trouble. But Mitch Hooper showing that consistency wins contests. Not one event where he was outside of the top three. Mateusz Kierlaskowski, though, wins this event. Was trying to beat his world record and was about a second and a half away. And that may have gotten him onto the podium. Looks like it will. As Mateusz Kieliszkowski comes short of a record, but he's going to earn a silver medal. Mateusz Kieliszkowski will take second overall. Mitch Hooper is your champion. And Bobby Thompson by half a point over Bobby Trey Mitchell. Snuck into third place there. Wow. What a finish to this contest. Mitch Hooper, 41 and a half points. Kilius Koski, so good to see him back. Trey Mitchell, who's been so, so impressive. Incredible day one. That grip just costing him at the last hurdle. And how good has the newbie Tom Evans been? Fifth place in his first ever pro show. Mitch Hooper's your champion, and Mitch Hooper is with Kiki Dixon. Mitch, you just won the Arnold Strongman Classic in your rookie season. What does it mean to you? I'm not sure it means much other than a stepping stone to do the next thing. Uh, I always say it's not uh, what you do, it's who you are. So to me, it's a stepping stone to what kind of impact can I make with this type of platform, uh, continue to inspire people to get out there and move, and uh, get better for World's Strongest Man and be able to get to the next step. I know you're a very calculated athlete. What are your biggest takeaways from this event? Uh, athletically, my grip could improve, um, but I just continue to, to know what I'm capable of and know what other people are capable of. And uh, that's my biggest advantage, is that nothing that happens at these comps to date has surprised me. And it's really easy to see, okay, I'm a few behind Trey going into day two. I see myself as a favorite to win, and I text you that. <laughs> I'd say I'm pretty comfortable and yeah, so uh, just being able to determine where people are going to be and, and learn off the back of that is uh, really valuable. But I'm uh, just trying to soak it all in right now. At a loss, rare loss for words. <laughs> How are you going to celebrate tonight? We got a big uh, uh, rain dinner. <laughs> so going to, probably going to get drunk, but going to try to break a couple of records tomorrow too. So we'll try and do that hungover, I guess. All right, have fun and we'll see you back for some records tomorrow. Thanks, Kiki. Mitch Hooper, your 2023 Arnold Strawman Classic champion. And what a finish that we saw, not only for the women, but also for the men. And every time we come to this competition, 
I always can't wait for next year because uh, the the amount the I'm excitement just and the exact same thing. You know, how good was it to have the women involved mm -hmm. in this contest? What a finish to the men. And I'm already excited to look forward to next year's contest. So good to be here and part of the Arnold Strongman Classic. Amazing athletes, amazing performances. Mitch inspiring. Hooper had three thirds and two seconds. And that looked a lot like what Martins Leitzis used to do here when he was winning championships. Just you know, not winning a ton, but just so consistent. Yeah, it's so important to not have weaknesses if you want to be one of the best. And we've seen it with the likes of Martins. We've seen it with the likes of Thor, Zadrunas Aviscus, Brian Shaw. If you want to go down as one of the greats, you need to be good at everything. Yeah, what a great first year for Mitch Hooper as he wins the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. We are not done here from Columbus. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Lauren Smith, Dr. Bill Crawford, and Jerry Pritchett will be here to wrap things up on the Rogue Iron Games. Stay with us, everyone, as our coverage continues here at the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic.